my experience suggests that not many examinations ask about questions on nerves. Eponyms, nerves named after somebody, nerves of clinical importance, some rarities. So today I would be discussing few important nerves which would be of importance in anatomy, in anti-surgery, in head and neck surgery as a whole, for an abdominal surgeon. Let's go about it. First of all, we are aware from the anatomy of the 10th cranial nerve, which is the vagus. We have got this important branch of vagus, a very small branch, which supplies the tragus, the air, and we call it as the auricular branch of vagus. The auricular branch of vagus is given the name as Arnold's nerve. Nothing to do with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold's nerve. So Arnold's nerve is synonymous with auricular branch of the 10th cranial nerve, the vagus. Sometimes also called as the older man's nerve. So, Alderman's nerve, Arnold's nerve, or the auricular branch of vagus are one and the same thing. We have to remember this thing. Then, after that, we have got this very important area of the bifurcation of the carotids, wherein we have the carotid sinus. And the carotid sinus is present at the bifurcation of the carotid vessels and we have got this carotid sinus which serves as a very important baroreceptor. So it is to be supplied by certain nerves and one of the very important nerves which supplies it is a branch from the 10th cranial nerve again from the vax and we call this nerve as the buffer nerve. So buffer nerve is synonymous with a branch of the vagus supplying the carotid sinus. It doesn't end here. The carotid sinus also has a branch from the ninth cranial nerve, the neighbor of the tenth cranial nerve, which would be having a competition with its neighbor. So the ninth cranial nerve would also give something to the carotid sinus and that would be called as the herring's nerve. Herring's nerve branch from the glossopharyngeal to the carotid sinus and buffer nerve a branch from the 10th cranial nerve to the carotid sinus. Now we also have a nerve with something related to Risberg. We have the 7th cranial nerve, the facial nerve is a mixed nerve and we have the nervous intermedius which is a branch of facial nerve that is also given an alternative name as nerve of Risberg. But nerve of Risberg is also referred to some other nerve in the upper limb, the medial, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. So we have Risberg pertaining to two nerves, nervous intermediates of the facial nerve and the medial cutaneous branch of the facial nerve. Forearm, medial cutaneous branch of the forearm. In addition to this, the ENT surgeons would be coming across a very important nerve, the Vedian nerve. And the Vedian nerve would be formed by a combination of the greater petrosal nerve and the deep petrosal nerve, which join within the Vedian canal. And they together form the nerve of pterygoid canal, also called as the Vedian nerve. Is it important somewhere? Yes. In case of allergic or vasomotor rhinitis, previously they would section this nerve. Vedian neurectomy would be the procedure and that would ablate this rhinitis, a very irritating condition for certain people. Now, after that, we already know a common and frequently asked question about the long thoracic nerve or the nerve of bell. And nerve of bell 
would be a nerve supplying an important muscle serratus anterior in which trauma to this nerve would cause excessive prominence of the medial border of scapula known as winging of scapula. Why? Because this nerve has got a long course and longer nerves, lo nerves with longer courses are more susceptible to trauma and this nerve invariably gets uh, damaged. For an abdominal surgeon, anything uh, important? Yeah, we have something in the form of nerve of lateral jet and nerve of grassy. And what these two nerves would mean, the nerve of lateral jet would be a branch from the anterior vagus supplying the pylors of the stomach. And the nerve of grassy would be a branch from the posterior vagus supplying the cardia of the stomach and these nerves previously would be just sectioned in case of vagotomies, selective vagotomies because these nerves are concerned with acid production. So we have the drugs pantoparazole, rabiparazole, lansoparazole, dexarabiparazole nowadays proton pump inhibitors, famotidine, rantidine, nizatidine, roxatidine, loxatidine, etc. But previously, we would have to section these nerves in case of uncontrolled peptic ulceration caused as a result of hypersecretion of acid. I think we would be coming up with similar other topics going ahead and I uh, think that this topic would be helpful to you. Thanks a lot.